Red carpet royals. Camilla puts on a very glamorous display as she joins Prince Charles at a glittering state banquet on the last night of their Ghanaian tour. Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall tonight attended a glittering state dinner in Accra on the last night of their Ghanaian tour. Camilla was resplendent in a pink and a Valentine evening gown with glittering diamonds at her ears and throat. The couple were at Jubilee House in the Ghanaian capital where they were greeted by His Excellency the President Akufo Addo and First Lady Rebecca Kufo Addo. They were taken to a glass-topped table laden with native flowers and perspex candelabras. The president offered a short speech to welcome their royal highnesses, with the prince responding. Charles was also presented with a companion of the Order of the Star of Ghana, honorary division, by the president of Ghana. After the main course of dinner, Edward Denon Flo, B. E., editor-in-chief of British Vogue, will introduce a fashion show specifically designed to showcase Ghana's world-leading role in fashion. Three global designers will each showcase three designs from the collections of Oswald Boateng O. B. E. Christy Brown and Adrian Sauvage, alongside three up-and-coming Ghanaian designers. Models will include Adwoa Adoa. Earlier today Camilla attended a school prize-giving ceremony where she challenged young people from across the Commonwealth to take part in a venerable essay writing competition. She was flying solo for the engagement while her husband Prince Charles attended a young entrepreneur's event with Ghana's President Nana Akufo Addo during which he made an emotive speech acknowledging the abject horror of Britain's role in slavery. Although he did not make a full apology for what he described as an indelible stain, he did not shy away from Britain's involvement in the unimaginable suffering it caused. He added, While Britain can be proud that it later led the way in the abolition of this shameful trade, we have a shared responsibility to ensure that the abject horror of slavery is never forgotten. Meanwhile, Camilla was at Ghana International School in the capital Accra to launch the Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition for 2019. The competition, open to young people from across the 53-nation organization, was founded in 1883. At the school she was greeted by an audience of 1,500 pupils who took part in the 2018 Queen's Essay Competition. Three of the award winners read out their essays from the stage and Camilla posed for a picture with many of the 198 Ghanaian pupils who won gold, silver or bronze awards in this year's competition. After hearing three of this year's winners read our part of their work, she said, Ladies and gentlemen, We've just had a taste of how brilliant these young writers are. We all very much hope that a record number of young people from all the 53 Commonwealth countries will be inspired to put pen to paper and enter next year's competition. As a passionate believer in the power of the written word I look forward, with huge anticipation, to reading the winning entries and presenting the awards at Buckingham Palace next year, as the proud vice patron of the Royal Commonwealth Society, I'm delighted to be here today on my first visit to your beautiful country, to launch the Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition for 2019. I can now reveal that this year's subject is, a connected Commonwealth, a fascinating topic and one which, I hope, will get your brains worrying. Last year, about 12,000 young writers sent in their stories, poems and essays and around 1,000 were from West Africa. So it's a huge pleasure to see some of those winners amongst us today. Earlier in the day, the Duchess who is president of the Women of the World Festival, met with Ghanaian women in leadership positions. The Women of the World Festival, WOW, is a global festival movement founded by Jude Kelly CBE in London in 2010. It celebrates women and girls and strives to find ways to remove obstacles that prevent them from reaching their full potential. Charles and Camilla are on a four-day tour to strengthen trade relations with Ghana and support community projects. Earlier in the day, a jovial Charles joked with entrepreneurs as he was shown local produce including cocoa and shea butter, and he made a speech thanking Ghana for the most special time he and Camilla have enjoyed. We have been so deeply touched by the wonderfully warm welcome we have received wherever we have been. In fact so warm it's taking some time for my blood to thin, he said. The heir to the throne and his wife, Camilla, arrived in the West African country's capital, Accra. On Friday night, the royal couple began their tour of West Africa and Gambia and head next to Nigeria. They will return to London just in time for Prince Charles' landmark 70th birthday on November 14th.